I worked out a system over the three year period of how to make actually 150K plus in a detailing business. And I spent no money on ads. Now that I know about ads and media buying, I would do a few things differently, but this is the detailing story and how I do it. Just to update you in about 30 seconds. I started my first business at 13, that's me there. I moved out of home at 14, that's me there hustling. I use YouTube to learn, I hustled every day. It's me at a market store trying to sell my t-shirts somewhat successfully-ish. Nah, not really, I'm gonna fuck all money. Eventually it started to work. I worked out how to do organic marketing, especially through Instagram. And my second business grew at 14 to around an inconsistent 10K a month. Considering it was clothing, there was nothing recurring there. I got on the news a few times, which was cool. I created a gymwear business, made some money. I later broke even for 30K, selling it uh, at the end of the day, wasn't a good business model. Had an online venture, education business, around 70K a month. This was the first time I made stupid money. A lot of mindset lessons learned there. I started Tasty at 19 after implementing a few different mindset tweaks, etc. Uh, that's the shop there. Completely renovated the shop. Scaled Tasty to 150K a year by 21 with zero ad spend. Zero ad spend, so completely organically. Yes, could have done that way faster. In hindsight, I made way more money if I knew about what I know now. Anyway, this is Tasty. I had a team. People loved it. Worked with some really cool brands. A great business. Just so you can see some results here. We're doing high ticket here. Had a few little different tweaks that I will talk to you about. Uh, you know, we're pulled 10K in a day. 151K total sales this year of 22. And again, no ad spend. And then that translates to now where the businesses that I work with and help scale, like this one here, it took me 10 years to learn how to make $40,234 in 33 days from zero, from scratch. Um, and I'm gonna share my lessons to help others avoid mistakes and anyone that's asked me questions, here are the videos for you. So that being that, let's get into it. Most businesses look somewhat like this. They have organic SEO. So if you have a website, generally it's a pretty shitty website. SEO is, let's call it Google traffic. People stumbling upon your page naturally. Nothing paid, nothing serious. You have some free content, maybe an under active, underutilized Instagram account, a Facebook page with a few hundred likes on it. And then your business runs off word of mouth and referrals. From these three sources, we are running to a lead capture mechanism, which was generally gonna be a direct message source if you have Instagram, a Facebook page, and then alternatively an email address. So going straight to a Gmail account. And then uh, from there, we manually record and book people in. From there, booking complete. And the most important part that most people do is they do nothing. Now, I'll show you why this is a problem. Think about your business like a machine. And if you are always trying to grow your business by going out and getting new customers and you're never doing anything to the existing customers, then you're always going to be chasing your tail. This is called my cash money, big dollar get rich business system overview, right? Five things, word of mouth, referrals. These come from you doing an amazing job, being so good at what you do that people have to buy from you and have to tell people about how good you are because your service is fucking amazing. And to achieve this, every single job is 100% perfect plus always be helping. What things can you do to help someone out, right? Paid ads, Google, uh, Meta, TikTok. Uh, Meta and Google is really all you need to focus on. Uh, organic SEO strategies, blog posts, just standard basic shit, good SEO layout on your website, uh, free content, Instagram, social media, repurposing this content, posting it across the board, providing value, and then remarketing, which I'll talk about later. So if you look at this entire system, five things, top of funnel, Lead capturing mechanisms. So you can have lead magnets, optional. Most people don't do this. We'll talk about this later. Direct message from your social media platforms and then your inquiry forms on your website. So you have all of this up the top here, sending that traffic down into a way to get that lead, which is an inquiry form or a direct message. We link this in with Go High Level. Go High Level is a CRM, it's fucking awesome. I've left the link down below if you want to check it out. I use some high level for all of my businesses. From there, easiest way I found, straight into Square Appointments, boom, booked. Square Appointments has automated booking reminders, all of that shit, bang, 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 done. Booking complete. So you make cash here. But the most important part is that from here, we don't do nothing. We don't do this. We don't booking complete, do nothing. We fucking ping them back up here to remarketing. Person buyers, they fuck off, they leave, you don't see them again. We need to keep them in the ecosystem. We need to keep them engaged. We need to keep them fucking ready because when they need, in this case, it's a car detail next, your uh, top of mind, boom, done, rebooked. This happens automatically. This is a general overview of how you set it up for those DIYs out there who want to fucking do it themselves. Um, so go high level, all your new leads or paid traffic, so your Facebook ads, your lead forms, all that shit, your new inquiries, so the form on your website, your emails, so your Gmail account, the email that you put in your footer, the email that you put on your fucking business card, social messages, Instagram, Facebook chats, etc., and a live chat button on your website. All of that shit turns into a thing called an opportunity that goes into a thing called a pipeline. A pipeline is a way that we can manage all of the 
potential business that can happen and could happen if we execute this correctly. Once it gets added to the pipeline, depending on what that person does, we trigger certain automations. For example, if they don't book in, we add them to a nurture sequence that's specific to the particular concern that they had. And we're answering their objections. We're getting them back into our pipeline here where we can get them into the flow, which is the right side of the flow or the left side of the flow in this example, which is getting them to book an appointment. Most importantly, from here, because we've linked square and high level, based on what they bought last, we ascend them, meaning we can give them offers based on what they'd logically need next. For example, if if John Doe came in and bought a cut and polish for 500 bucks, John Doe didn't buy a ceramic coating, John Doe's car's now not protected, I would be like, okay, add John Doe to paint protection flow. The system's like, oh, okay, now I'm gonna educate John Doe on the benefits of why you need paint protection, and I'm gonna address or bring attention to the fact that without paint protection, John Doe's cut and polish ain't gonna look too good for too long. So what happens there is I'm trying to rebook them back into the business, ascend them higher, get them to spend more money, increase the LTV, increase that lifetime value by giving them logical next in kin purchases to buy. And that's how you do it. So if you wanna do this, you wanna copy my model, I use this exactly to scale Tasty to 151K a year without paid ads. If I had paid ads, I could fucking scale this to the moon. Obviously there's gonna be an operational bottleneck there, but with paid ads, you can fucking go stupid with this. So thank you very much. Please click the link down below, get high level square. And yeah, please enjoy. Please, you can't go wrong.